First, uh, search in the Google as an ISC web pack. It's coming up like this, okay. So, and then uh, click the first link, this ISC web pack design software from Xilinx. Go there and then download the ISC web pack software for Windows and Linux. So, uh, good point is that I believe this has a Linux component as well. Um, but uh, since my machine is Windows, uh, let me uh, I downloaded for the Windows revision, and let's say uh, I downloaded here in the download section, and I expand that uh, unzip that file into this, and now what you want to do is basically double click on this X setup, and uh, actually what you need to do is. Uh, run as administrator uh, cancel that and run as administrator it will uh, give you some prompt like this maybe on the windows you said yes and then your start uh, your setup process starts it will uh, uh, be a splash screen and then it will come up like this and <clears throat> let me just why don't i just make it bigger yeah and then you just put next uh, here uh, since I have an uh, Oracle virtual box already created in the machine so it's saying that okay uh, let it continues with that installation otherwise I believe it will try to install the Oracle virtual box at first and then proceed uh, but anyway, uh, since I have already Oracle Virtual Box on my machine, so I will make it continue. Click I agree, click I agree, next. Uh, let it be like default, next. Now here, uh, one important thing is this part, select the directory to share with VM. So here you want to um, select a, directory that you want to share within this Linux environment that's going to install in the virtual box um, so I prefer like uh, maybe my teaching uh, directory as I assume maybe like that so this is important so that you can actually uh, interoperate between your Windows directories and the directories created on the Linux partition otherwise that won't be easily accessible so this is very important step and i am uh, not proceeding for the installation it's pretty easy i have already installed that's why these directories are coming as uh, as red uh, this name but for you for the first time it will be not like that and your installation will be at the c uh, slash xilinx directory now once you have it uh, then uh, after the installation you will see some icon uh, like this like project navigator icon would be coming up we'll be using that now i want to start this uh, ic project with the source code and everything so what I will do, I will first uh, double click on the on this project navigator icon and that will actually bring something like an Oracle VM virtual box startup if you start for the first time. Uh, so let it boot up and once it is boot up then you will see the specific environment for uh, ISC tool has been set up for you and this is very easy I, fi I find surprisingly easy this tool to be installed um, compared to model sim uh, frankly speaking and uh, then uh, I'll show you the usage as well so this one has started the ISC on this environment and Windows is a little bit too small then we can actually let me just make it bigger uh, let me see how can I make it bigger okay let's try this thing view adjust window site host a uh, 
Okay, so then I can do possibly this. Oh yeah, this works. So adjust is basically adjust the window size and then I bump up these, this become full screen. All right, now uh, to proceed forward, let's do this, uh, just hit okay. Uh, I had one previous project open there. Let me close that project first. So you'll be ending up something like here and do a new project, for example. And let's say I selected up, uh, remember that uh, I selected SJSU as an Windows integration, which is, uh, uh, which is like here in my environment my user ID, SJSU, eval, right, this one. So it's it's under the home ISC, under that you will find that, that directory you shared, it exact is mounted over there. So I went there, I went to eval and maybe uh, I choose I, I choose that directory as a parent directory and I said that, okay, this is ISC, trial cs147 lab 2 all right now do the next just make it default make sure your preferred language is very log and do next and finish all right uh, now you see in my windows uh, environment i have that project directory set up uh, created there. Uh, so that's why I was mentioning that this is very important to uh, share that, specify that Windows shared directory into the IC environment. All right, now I want to add some source code. Uh, before add the source code, maybe uh, it's a good idea since uh, we will be on the simulation environment. Just select this one. All right, then go here, right click, uh, add source. I'm just trying to add source from uh, the existing uh, source code. So I go there, let me see, lab 2. Yep, so what I'll do, I will actually include all of them. Open. Okay, so now you see I got like a hierarchy of the design. Also, I get a file uh, tab here. So let's see, there are libraries, work library. Uh, all right, now I can actually go and maybe click on them. It gives you that editor. You can edit there, etc. Okay, so now on the design side, you see here design utility, mm. hmm. simulation, design utility and okay, here, come here and then right click, select this, right click, run. All right, uh, it give me some error saying that you must specify value for the target simulator property for this process before running okay so question is how do i set the target simulator property for this process okay um, so what you need to do here really is basically you see that design hierarchy here um, which gives the top level the test bench that we need to run so we select it and there it gives you these is isim simulator you go there uh, maybe you can do a little bit of this read on all and to make sure your syntax is correct we will check syntax complete successfully uh, maybe we can now we can do this this one select right click uh, run all right so on uh, once it is run you see it stopped at this point it basically gives you uh, some of the way waveforms uh, here and then you can explode the waveform uh, look at uh, maybe I will just uh, 
then you can change the radix of this value like maybe on sign decimal so you see like now you are able to uh, do some simulation project in this environment and I find that this is not much difference than the Verilog simulation at least for the simpler project like uh, ourselves we're trying to do at least for the project one uh, I uh, will do further investigation into this and uh, then uh, we'll see I, I think it is it will be compatible for all the projects we have uh, in this course uh, if there is a problem and issue I notice I will notify you with this simulator but uh, uh, you also try and playing around with this tool as well if you are uh, not successful in installing uh, the uh, model sim on your on your environment